Hello, my friends. Welcome to here with me. And th that's I'm Aziza. Um, my brain is not really on today yet. Not going yet. Anyway, um, yesterday I was out in the Markham area because I was picking up a new fountain pen to play with and um, the place I was was at Ferris Wheel Press and I was chatting with Bianca and Ray and so what exactly is all this stuff? Stuff. <laughs> stuff. Um, Ferris Wheel Press is on Instagram and they recently contacted me because they were launching a Ferris Wheel Press, press brush fountain pen campaign. And I know that sounds really confusing because it's like, what is a brush fountain pen? Well, it's the name of the fountain pen that they have designed. And um, the point of this was to, to get to meet Bianca and Ray and also pick up my pen in person. So let me show you quickly what I have received here. Okay, so the first thing is I have the, the pen in its box. I was also able to pick a color of Rover und, und Klingner ink. Sorry, it's, that's a hard one to pronounce. So I picked Scabiosa, which is an iron gall, and it is like a purple, dusty purple color. It also came with a little anatomy card of the pen, as well as a hand-signed certificate of authenticity. Now, Ferris Wheel Press is interesting for several reasons. First of all, they are Canada-based and they are Canadian, and it's very exciting because it's really fun to see Canada do fun things with fountain pens as well. Um, here's a little about, about, about bit about Ferris Wheel Press. Uh, Ferris Wheel Press is a stationary lifestyle brand where the whimsical sights, sounds, and nostalgia of the carnival dance with the rat tat tat of a traditional print shop. We are here to share our love for print and stationery and do so by being deliberately creative and artful and deeply personal. Um, Ferris Wheel Press is associated with Palatera, which is a luxury um, stationery designer with like letter, like the old school letterpress and like hot foil plates and stuff like that. So that's really cool. I mean, as pen lovers, we tend to also love paper. So it's fun to see this kind of stuff, especially in Toronto. Yay! So. I'm definitely on board with this. Like, I'm really looking forward to spending some time with the pen, but I just wanted to do like a an unboxing and first impressions to show you what is going on here. So, um, I am going to be part of the Ferris Wheel Press social media campaign, but this is not part of it. This is just this is like my gourmet pens unboxing to share with you the new item that I have. So you've seen that I've done a couple of these before. Um, let's look at the. The, the pen itself, shall we? Okay, so this is the box. I really like it, very simple. Um, the pen comes in three colors, sunset yellow, creme glacé, and paint maker's teal. I picked sunset yellow because I like the bright and happy color. Now, the box is quite detailed. Um, let me show you the certificate of authenticity first, because you can see it has a Ferris wheel, like, like sketch in the background and their logo, which is um, like a typewriter design. And then this is the, um, like the, the, the press details, like the letter press details. So I think it's really cute. Um, Certificate Authenticity, it is signed by the owner, very cool. Now, the reason I was showing you the Ferris wheel is because you can see more of the, like the whimsical aspect on the box. Like it's got the little, sorry, with the hot air balloon, it's got a gold foiled logo, um, the brush fountain pen, there's the Ferris wheel down here, the color, um, and in the back, it is designed in Canada by the very people I met, and it is handmade in Shanghai, so by people that Ray has met. So it's really cool. Um, one of the details I really like, I'm very excited about this because I'm Canadian, so uh, one of the details I really like is this tiny, adorable little, let me see, will it focus? adorable little uh, maple leaf. So we open it up. Very simple, very simple packaging. I really like this. I'm really not big on packaging, so I like very plain, minimal, like low waste packaging. 
So it's just a box. The pen sits in here. Uh, it says, thank you for supporting Canadian design and craftsmanship. We hope this pen inspires your next great idea. It does come with care instructions. So prior to refilling ink, rinse, rinse the um, converter and nib with cold water until water runs clear. Do not post cap onto pen when writing to avoid scratching the finish. Store pen vertically when not in use to avoid clogging. And then there's detailed care instructions on their Facebook page, which there is a link to. Now, I know not everybody uses Facebook, so one of the things I will likely suggest to them is that they make the care page available on the website. So we'll close that up. Um, now, in my playing with the pen, it does post. You can put the cap on the back, and it is actually quite secure, but um, it is a glossy, like, lacquered type finish. So as they suggest, like, maybe you don't want to do that. So anyway, so we've looked at the certificate of authenticity. We've looked at the... A really cute box. Um, now, the anatomy of the fountain pen. Now, if you are new to fountain pens, this could be useful. I am not new to fountain pens, but it's still very cute. So it's just like the cap, nib, grip, threads, etc. Just to get an idea of it. Now, um, the, the reason behind the Iron Gall ink is that they want to have like a pen that people could just grab to use to make it more accessible for everyone and not be complicated, like not have a huge learning curve. And they also want their ink to stick around. So like the writing to stick around. And of course, an iron gall makes sense. And in my experience, the Rohr und Klingner inks are very well behaved. Even the iron galls, and typically with iron galls, I do pay a little more attention to them just to make sure they don't dry out as easily or as um, uh, dry out as quickly and stuff in my pen because just makes it a little more more cleaning wise not as fun so um the pen itself let's take a look very cute i don't know maybe maybe if i hold this up in the back i'm not sure i don't know if this is worth it nah, it's too much work you could just take a look at it like this um so it is a sunset yellow it does have like a brush shape like of a of an actual brush but it is fountain pen and nothing on the finial like it's just a very minimalist design but they don't call it minimalist it's just supposed to be like like modeled after a brush it has a nut which i love it is a brass nut and it prevents the pen from rolling around and it's just it's like the perfect center band for the pen so i think that's cute now we uncap it this is where it gets really cool but first of all it is inked i have inked it already i inked it with the um scabiosa one thing to note that i'm going to point out to them is the converter it has a slight like bump on it like because it's plastic and it gets caught ever so slightly just like a tiny bit now the pen's base is brass and it does have a hard paint and a clear coat over top so i think it's it's not going to cause any issues it's just slightly that you have to just give it a little tug not a big deal it does still work um if you put a mini converter, like a standard international mini converter, you probably wouldn't have this issue, but this is a full-size converter. Now, um, as you can see, it has a brush shape. So if I'm just to like hold it, this is the size of it. It is a slightly slender pen. It is on the longer side for an unposted pen. Um, I, think, I think most users would be able to use it unless you don't like slender pens. The section is super cool. So can you see that? Yes, hopefully you can. You can see that it's laser engraved on the brass and it has the, um, the top of the logo. So it's got this part engraved on it, which looks really cool. Like it's, it's just really neat. And uh, it says design in Canada. The nib is steel. It is a fine medium, which Ray selected because he wanted a nib that, that everyone could just use like on a regular basis. Now, if we look at the nib in detail, um, single slit, single slit, no breather hole, and it says in really cute writing, Ferris wheel press, the cute writing being this, and there, are, this pen has an Easter egg, I don't want to ruin it, so I'm just going to leave it at that, I'm gonna say nothing else, it's so mysterious, but um, I really like the design, I love that this was designed in Canada, and I know the instinct that a lot of people might feel is like, oh, well, is it, if it's 
made in China? Like, is it just a rebranded pen? Because I know a lot of companies do that. Like uh, the Stipula Splash has done that. Um, the Monteverde Monza has done that. This is not just a rebranded pen. So they've actually designed this. They put a lot of like nice touches on it that I think make it more special, like make it unique. I mean, you're, you're not going to see this everywhere, obviously. So I think it's got a lot of cute stuff going for it. Very minor things that I have noticed so far, like as I'm opening it up here and stuff, like there's very small things that I'm going to point out. But um, overall, I think it's really nice. It's really cute. And uh, I was going to say something else. What was I going to say? Oh, I can't remember. Um, okay, so what they have described here is the experience of the brush fountain pen begins when the cap unscrews from the body of the pen, producing a sound that echoes the mechanical rat-tat-tat of a print shop. So let's try this first. Yeah, it does actually. I think that's from, it's from the, um, the metal threads just rubbing. So it's not grinding, like it's very smooth. Okay, so you get that. Uh, what follows is a stunning paintbrush inspired silhouette, laser etched brass grip, and a smooth stainless steel nib that provides a perfectly balanced and luxurious writing experience. So as I said, it comes in three colors and this is the sunset yellow. Now, I have inked it, I have not used it yet, so I thought we would point the camera down and take a look at it quickly. But um, yeah, that's kind of cute. It's, I really like a lot of the little details going on here. So um, that's it. Now, I did receive this pair like free of charge so that I could review it and I could do the social media campaign. Um, and as I said, this unboxing is not part of the campaign. This is part of just like me wanting to share this with you because it's fun and I'm trying to do more videos because they're fun and hopefully you're enjoying them. So I'm going to stop with my chit chat. We're going to move the camera down and we're going to take a look at it just briefly just to get a first impression of the writing experience. So thank you very much to Ferris Wheel Press for um, hooking me up with this. This is really fun. I hope you're liking it. Like I hope you think this is kind of neat. Uh, one very important thing that I must tell you is because Ferris Wheel Press is part of Palaterra, who does their letterpress and like designs and um, invitations and all that kind of stuff, this is made in-house. So this is actually made like on the main floor of their entire building, which I was at yesterday. And they, so they've done all of this themselves. Like the foiling is done themselves. It's, it's like put together themselves and everything. So I think that's really fun. And I like it. And as I said, I love the little maple leaf. Oh, Canadia. So, yeah, I will see you in just a second. Okay, so, hello, welcome back again. Uh, we are pointing downwards, so here's the ink. Um, the Glocher und Klingner Scabiosa Schreibe Tinte, I believe. Schreibe Tinte. Um, here's the box, so you could just like see it in a little more detail. I have the lights up like this so that you could see the gold foil. Um, very simple, very minimalist. Uh, very low waste. And I do like that there are simple care instructions on the back for new users. Here is the pen itself. Cute. I love this. Oh my goodness. It's like a fidget pen. Okay, so you can see some detail. A little bit of detail. Now, let us grab my notebook, which I had not available readily. Um, I think I'm going to zoom in just a little if possible so we can take a look at this writing just to see how it works. Now I'm actually going to move my hand underneath the camera here. Um, okay, so this is a fine medium steel nib. I think it's like a... I would say that's a medium more on the medium side. I like the, I like a broad nib. So for me, the broader, the better. Oh, sorry. You can't even see all that. That's really stupid of me. Sorry. Um, okay. So this is the, the brush. Fountain. Uh, 
sorry, I had to switch cameras because my other one is completely out of card space and I don't have a chance right now to empty it. So I don't know where I left off, so I'm just gonna do this again. Um, I know the audio is not as good on this camera, so sorry, but you don't really need to hear me talking. You more so want to see the pen and how it writes. So this is the Ferris wheel press. This is the brush fountain pen. I did flush the nib before writing. Um, it's really well tuned. Absolutely not a single skip or hard start. It's a firm nib. Can't really get much line variation, but it's really a robust nib for new users or people who have a really heavy hand. So that's nice. Hello. Nice color ink too. If you have not tried out the over und Klingner um, Scabby Osa, you really should because it's pretty cool. Every time I think of this ink name, I think of Harry Potter because of Scabbers the Rat. So, yep, yeah, that's just a first impression, just so you can have a quick look at it. Here we go. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, on, and Patreon as Gourmet Pens. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.